guys, Larissa with Bicozi.com is here. Today I would like to show you how to make this beautiful blanket. Uh, this is a new pattern that I uh, created. Uh, I call it cable flower. And I am often asked uh, where my ideas of patterns are coming from. So uh, literally there are no new knitting patterns. Uh, all the knitting patterns are available on YouTube and uh, like a lot of uh, knitting books. Those patterns are for regular knitting with needles. I'm watching those videos on YouTube and then I'm alternating or editing them for using for hand knitting. So this cable knitting creating this flowers like that cable flowers. Uh, it was known for a long time in regular knitting. So I just adjusted it for hand knitting. Uh, also to make it uh, look even more beautiful, I made this cable uh, here and I'm cable uh, crisscrossing in different directions. So this way it looks like this beautiful snake. So a combination of uh, cable flower and cable snake, let's call it this way, gives you this beautiful, beautiful blanket. But the whole point of this yarn, this is new yarn in our store, guys. This yarn is sparkly Chanel yarn. We just received it. It's completely new in our store. We have eight colors available. We have beautiful gray, purple, black, and uh, uh, navy blue. You can see sparkles more on the dark colors. It's hard to show sparkles in pictures and videos. So when it's a darker color, you can see it's better. So this is beautiful green and uh, candy cane red color and also cloud and white. So today we will be using three of our new sparkly Chanel colors. It will be gray, cloud and white. They look amazingly beautiful in person when you see this blanket uh, in real life because all the sparkles, they are bringing this amazing look for the blankets. You can make uh, a scarf, a pillow, a hat, uh, anything you can come up with, but the sparkles give this uh, very special touch. So again, we have eight colors available, guys and you can find them at becozy.com and if you have it ready let me show how to make this beautiful blanket okay guys so we will be using as i said gray cloud and white it's beautiful color combination uh, it's really hard to show sparkles uh, on this yarn I will try to lift it. Maybe you will see, but it's really uh, hard to see, but it's really, really beautiful in person. So we, we will be starting with our gray. So again, you can find this yarn at becozy.net. You will not find this yarn anywhere else. It's available only at becozy.net or becozy.com. Both are right. So what are we doing? We are making a knot on the end of the yarn that is prevent unraveling when the yarn is used or when it's washed. So see, we made the knot and that cut the tail. And now we will be starting. So we're placing the yarn in front of us like that. This is the tail, this is working yarn. Uh, working yarn goes on the top of the tail insert your hand inside, grab working yarn, pull it out. So we just made our first stitch and you see that it's pretty big so we will pull working yarn down like that and keep it about an inch and a half wide the first stitch. Now we will insert our hand, grab working yarn and pull it out. We just made second stitch and we will be making guys 24 stitches for this project. So we have two stitches. We will, now we will be holding the bottom of the stitch, insert our right hand, grab working yarn and pull it out. 
If you're left-handed, I'm not left-handed and I'm being asked all the time, you uh, can do it the same way, just use it in a different direction. So holding the bottom of the stitch, insert your hand, grab working yarn and pull it out. See, it's pretty easy for uh, people who are left-handed in that direction. Okay, so we will be doing it this way because I'm right-handed. And again, as I said, 24 stitches. One, two, three, four. So we need 20 more. We'll be holding the bottom and then uh, pulling out the stitch, trying to make them all the same size. Okay, guys, let's count how many stitches we have. Counting, we will be doing it by uh, these openings here, okay? So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, perfect, 24 stitches. What we are doing now, we're placing our working yarn on the back and we are flipping this chain on another side like that. The reason we're doing it because it will give us a beautiful, ch this chain will be on the bottom of the blanket. So now we will be pulling out our first row. So uh, how we are doing it? First, we will need this first stitch. Insert your hand, grab hooky yarn, pull it out. This is our first stitch. Now we will be using these knots in the middle of the stitch. This is the top part of the stitch, this is the bottom, and we are using this knot in the middle. So with our left hand, we will lift it, and then your right hand is going inside, grab working yarn, and pull it out. So now we have two stitches. Now we will keep pulling out our first row, and uh, you can start the pattern, any pattern, on your first row, but I prefer to pull it out and then start the pattern uh, on the next row because this way it's easier to do it. And we will be doing exactly this. So I'm pulling out all 24 stitches. Okay, guys, we pulled out all 24 stitches. Let's count them not to miss any. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 24. Okay, so uh, let me show you. See, because we did it this way, pulled out the first row. This is our uh, bottom. It looks like a beautiful chain. That's the only way to have a beautiful chain on the bottom. Uh, when you're pulling out first uh, row like that. So what we are doing now, now we are starting our pattern. The first stitch we will be simply knitting, we insert on our hand, grab working yarn and pull it out. This is our first stitch. Next stitch is purled. So a yarn, working yarn from this direction, it's, it's going on the top of the chain or our knitting project. And then we're grabbing the stitch and working yarn is being pulled through that stitch like that. This is our purl stitch. Now we are using this next four stitches to make our pattern. Uh, working yarn goes on the back, how we're doing it. We will be crisscrossing these four stitches by two. This one will go crisscross on the left and this one crisscross on the left. Crisscross on the left, crisscross on the right. Okay, so you see that these two stitches in the middle, they will go on the top of the other stitches and they will create this uh, beautiful flower-like pattern. So crisscross and then you're needing this first and this second. Don't lose it, it's kind of hiding. So make sure that you needed this two crisscrossed. And then this one is crisscrossing on the right. Crisscross on the right. So you need in second first 
and then first stitch. Here we are. See what we just did? We just created this uh, flower-like pattern and this is actually very similar or the base of a honeycomb stitch that I showed in previous videos. So what we're doing next, we're making one pearl. So this flower will be uh, surrounded by two pearled. Pearl, pearl. Then we are using these two next stitches to make a small cable. We will be crisscrossing it and it doesn't matter, you can crisscross to the right or crisscross to the left because we will be uh, alternating. So like if we uh, crisscrossed to the right in this uh, row, in the next row we will be doing like that. And that will give you this beautiful snake-like uh, line in the middle of the uh, this beautiful flowers cable flowers. So we crisscross this two and now we're purly next one. And that's pretty much all of our pattern guys. So first one is needed, pearl, then this for creating the flower cable, pearl, this two for little cable, pearl. And now we will be uh, repeating our pattern. Next four we will be making the same cable flower. There's two stitches in the middle, we'll go on the top, crisscross on the left, crisscross on the right. Next one, purl, and then we're making a cable with these two. Look what you made here, cable to the left, so that's what we will make here. It should be the same. You will have these two small cables uh, on the in the middle or on the left and right from this uh, flower cable. Okay, so we made crisscross here, and now this guy will be purled, two purl. Now we will have four stitches to make the same flower cable crisscross on the left and then crisscross on the right this one goes on the top and then we have one more purl stitch and after purl stitch we are making our last stitch here we are so we have 24 stitches we just started our pattern guys so let me show you again Neat pearl, then four stitches creating flower cable, pearl and pearl, and two uh, li for a little cable in the middle. Four stitches made the cable flower, and then here again, pearl, pearl, and two little stitches making little cable. Four for cable flower, pearled, and last stitch. So in the next row, what we are doing, I'm usually skipping the first stitch because this way you will have a beautiful chain, the same as over here on the side, on both sides. So I'm skipping this stitch. We are purling this stitch. So in this row from the right to the left, we are purling, purled and knitting, knitted. So this one was purled, we purled it. And for next one, we are simply knitting. We're not doing any crisscrosses. We're not making our pattern here. We're just simply knitting stitches as is. So if you see, it's a knitted, per, a knitted stitch. A knitted stitch look like a chain. You're knitting it. If you see a pearl, this bump uh, on the top of the stitch, it means that it's a pearl stitch. Then you are purling it. And that's the two rows that we will be repeating through the whole blanket to create that beautiful pattern that you saw at the beginning of the video. So here we are. I'm done with our 
second or third row because first one was pulled out. What we are doing in the next row, guys? So we are skipping this. See, it makes already uh, in a chain. Then we are purling this stitch because it's a purl stitch here. And then we are repeating what we did here. See this uh, beautiful cable flower? So we are doing the same. These two stitches will go on the top, crisscross with the other ones. So crisscross on the left. Next one, crisscross on the right. Here we are. And that's how the cable flower, I called it, will look like. Next one, pearl. And here, guys, you will need to pay attention what you're doing here if you would like to have that beautiful uh, snake-like cable. So you saw we uh, crisscross this direction. So now we will crisscross in the opposite direction. And that's what I will be doing in every second row. I will be crisscrossing in the opposite direction to make this beautiful uh, snake-like cable. So purled, and here we're doing the same uh, cable crisscross on the left, crisscross on the right. Here we are. Next one, purl. Next cable, little cable, the same. We went to the left. Now we will do cable to the right side. Here we are. Pearl. And then four stitches, our flower cable. Crisscross to the left, crisscross to the right. Here we are. It's a beautiful pattern. And if you had knitted before, it should be pretty easy. If you uh, didn't uh, hand knit before, you just need to watch this video slowly, uh, stop it, uh, go back, uh, go forth, and uh, figure out how to uh, do it. So next row, again, I'm skipping first stitch. This is purl, we're purling. And this row, again, we're simply knitting stitches as is. So if you see this is a uh, knitted, we're knitting, purled is purled. We're not making patterns in the second row after we made the pattern. So that's pretty much it, guys. This is all uh, pattern. It's not uh, really hard, just need to pay attention. So what I will be doing, I will be knitting this way until I need to connect cloud color and then I will come back and I will show you how to connect the yarn and how to make it look beautiful on the blanket, the connection side. Okay, guys, so we are almost done with our gray. We have a pretty big tail left, but it will not be enough for the whole row. How do you know? Because if you pull it through the whole uh, width of the blanket, it will cover only two lengths or widths, and you need three. So in this case, if you can see that you don't have enough, you need to cut it and leave it. You can use it later on your uh, uh, next row of gray or next uh, part of gray. Now we will have our cloud and how we will connect it. We will make a simple knot like that. And now you will pull it tight from both sides. You're pulling it gently, but you're pulling it until you feel that there is no way to pull it more. Then you're cutting these tails close to the knot, and this is how we connect it. What do we do now? We are now connecting our cloud color. How we will be doing it? So we will be simply uh, doing the same. See, by the way, you can see this beautiful pattern forming. 
this beautiful cable flower and this cable snake. So these pearl stitches that we have, when we're knitting first row of a new color, we will be making them knitted. Remember, because if you make it pearl, then it will not here, but it here over here. Let me show you. If you pearl it, then in the new color co uh, connection, you will see see the new color and the old color will be in the middle, and it will not look good on the finished product. So in order to avoid it, we will be knitting all our pearled stitches in a row when we're connecting new yarn. So knit. And there we are making our cable flower, cable crisscross to the left. Don't forget the stitch, crisscross to the right. So here we are, made our cable here. So this one purled, but we are knitting it because we are connecting new yarn. And then the snake, see this one was to the left, now it goes to the right crisscross to the right see this beautiful cable and oops so here pearled one we are knitting it see that's a difference again if we need it this is a new color and the old color in the middle if you, we need it then you don't see the connection and then in the next row we will be uh, going back to purling our pearl stitches and you will not really see it on the finished blanket this connection side difference between stitches because Chanel yarn is very soft and it's very uh, forgiving okay this is our cable we're going to the right we went to the left in the previous one now we're going to the right Pearled one, don't forget, we are knitting. And then our last cable, flower, cable to the left, or crisscross, and cable to the right. Here we are, guys. Last pearl we're knitting, and knit last stitch. Here we are, we just connected our beautiful cloud. What we're doing next, we are going back to our previous pattern. All stitches that were purled the previous row, we are purling and knitted that uh, stitches that were knitted before, we're simply knitting. And we are doing the same pattern until we use all our cloud color. And after that, we will be connecting white color, this beautiful white, and we will be doing it exactly the same way. Here we are. Look, at, see, I made a mistake. I uh, needed this stitch and it's supposed to be purled. It's very easy to uh, fix. You don't need to unwind the whole row. Unwind this stitch and then make it purl. It's actually uh, a way to fix uh, any blanket if you made a wrong stitch. You're just unwinding all stitches in this one section all the way down where you need to fix the stitch, fixing it and then making it all the way up like that. So we, here we are. We are almost done with our cable cables and pearled stitches in the row with cloud color. Here we are. You can see uh, this beautiful pattern really nicely. So what I will be doing, I will be following this pattern until I'm done with cloud. Then I will connect beautiful white. And then uh, we I use all six skeins. Uh, two grays, two clouds, and two whites. And then I will come back and I will show you how to cast off. Okay, guys, so we are ready to finish. Look at this beautiful blanket. I love this color combination. This is a gray cloud 
and white it looks like a big cloud so now when we have our white part second time uh, done we need to have enough yarn to finish we'll need to have three weeds of the blanket if you have a little bit more like i do it's even better so what are we doing now we will be taking two stitches at a time and then insert uh, this uh, walking yarn through and pull it out we just needed two stitches into one keep this one on your hand add another one so you have two and then push the yarn through we need it two into one again. So keep doing the same way until you go through all stitches and make sure not to skip any stitches because they are kind of hiding uh, when uh, this is the section with the cable flower. So they're kind of hiding and if you miss it, then you will need to unravel the uh, cast off chain and to do it all over again so let me finish and then i will show you what to do with the last stitch okay here we are guys we have two last stitches, knit them together. And because I have this very small tail, I will make a knot on the end before I will finish it, cut the tail. And uh, now we will knit these two together. And we have this very small tail. Make sure to insert this tail into the last stitch. Here we are, we had perfect lengths. We just finished our beautiful blanket. This tail will go underneath the stitch on the back like that. You will not see it. And then we will tuck in the same way the stitch at the beginning. It will go underneath this chain and then back and then on the back. And then you can tuck it in here anywhere like that and you will not really see it when you're using it so here we are we are done with our beautiful blanket look at this beautiful color combination and this beautiful stitches so this yarn sparkly chanel available at becoisy.com we have eight colors now guys and uh here i use six skeins if you want to make a bigger blanket, you will need to uh, start with eight more stitches. So we have 24 here, and it gives us a width of 35. If you want to make it bigger, it will be about 45 widths, and you will need to add eight more stitches. So for every size up, add eight stitches, and then just follow the same pattern. So get this yarn, make this beautiful blanket, and stay warm and be cozy. Hey guys, my hand knitting book is ready for you to purchase. It can be purchased at becausey.com and on Amazon and also available as a e Kindle. It's a perfect gift for yourself or your loved one. It's the most unique uh, gift and book on the knitting market.